Baby, I love you. Baby, I love you. Baby, I love you. Baby, I love you. Baby, I love Baby, I Baby, Anyway. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Benny Bonita. Today is another reaction video. So today we are reacting to Purple Soul, Long Danzi. We're reacting to their song, Chinese hip hop, Beijing rap. People were telling me on Billy Billy, why not try to react to something a little more classic? So. I took it upon myself to go with what they're saying. Let's listen to a little something more classic. Let's see how classic they get. Because when I hear classic, I'm thinking, you know, it's gonna give me like Biggie, it's gonna give me like teaches you something, it's gonna give me pretty words, they put them together real nicely, bars, all that. So we're gonna see. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay. I'm weak. Their album's called WTF. This is giving me like... Um, what's it do? What's it do? What's it do? Wow. I like his bar so far. It's also easier to understand. I can hear him pretty clearly. Okay. I've had friends who told me like it's hard to rhyme words in Chinese, English, and all that. They make it look so easy. Okay, 
，大的道理大家谁都懂，但遇事就犯懵，好了伤疤忘了疼。我们可以不尊重自己的身体，但别忘了最深的伤口，这是新的开始。别冲动，这不是你最想走的路。在城市里被现实打败的过程，自以为是与众不同，可谁知道疼？这种态度 ，Purple Soul 在保护。DJ MC 涂鸦，这种态度 ，Purple Soul。自然肤色的疗伤药水。Oh my God！ 除非伤口干燥的已经化脓，跟着来自心跳的节奏，漫步在黄金年代的街头。Purple Soul， 安德鲁。龙胆子再次带你回到那个时候的 flow， 啊，二零一二 ，represent 从东边到西边到南边到北边，所有跟我们挂链的还跟我们聊一块儿。Keep it real, purple soul, what the fuck, fuck the world. <笑> yeah. That's the world, right? Okay, <笑> sure. You do like like Beijing streets, though. Wow, 2013. Yo, that song was beautiful, man. Shout out to Purple Soul, alright? Nah, first off, that was very that was a whole different vibe than what I'm so used to hearing. Like for Chinese hip hop, wow. Like I feel like I haven't heard anything so like you know old school in a moment. I mean, other than I guess hip hop saved my life on Masaway's new album hip -hop saved my life. and stuff. But like even that, I feel like is not fully there. Like this one and wow, like that one is grounded in old school. Like all I gotta say is that I give it a ten. Yo, they remind me of Dead Prez, Brand Nubian, Rakim, Underachievers, Flapper Zombies, Pro Era, those type of rappers. You get what I'm saying? Where generally they just want to put out a message that people could learn from and highlight, you know, what's going on and how we can better ourselves. You know what I mean? It was really nice. They have beautiful lyrics. Beautiful. Like, if I wanted to mention lyrics for this song, it would be hard to even choose one, you know? Because they said so many meaningful things. I guess for me, I want to say the first line that I saw, like, let's look at the lyrics now. I think the first one that got me to wow was. I think it was the first guy. He said, Now, yo, like, hearing that in Chinese, it sounds so, like, it just comes off the tongue so nice. The sounds he put together sound good together, like, you know what I mean? I feel like that was some, that sound like something the old like Eminem would have like put two lines together. Like if he could rap in Chinese, these are two lines. Like obviously maybe not these lyrics because I feel like he don't really talk about that kind of stuff. But the way Eminem writes his lyrics, like it's like, yes, they rhyme at the end, but there's similar rhymes in between in between the lines too that or like alliteration or you know there's something going on and it's like wow and same goes for them that was the first line that really made me start really really listening to what they were saying and at the same time i'm kind of like wow for him to say something like that is that even allowed <laughs> is that even allowed in china the thing is, you know, this was 2013. That's not that long ago. Are you allowed to say that? <laughs> like, were they penalized for something like that? Put it in the comments down below. Because I'm kind of like, whoa, that was, you know, strong words. Sometimes some people can't take criticism. And like, 
were they not afraid to, you know, say what's on their mind? Like, wow. Ah, <sighs> that's surprising. Because they said a lot. They talked about socialism, I think. I think I also heard something. Hold on, hold on. Let me see. They talked about being opinionated. They talked about not being impulsive. They talked about greed. They talked they talked about so much. Now, how much of that was allowed on TV? Um someone please tell me down below. I would love to know because I know now there's a lot of, you know, they prohibit a lot of hip hop on TV. Like it has to be a little more clean, a little more, I guess, just a little more good stuff than bad stuff. So just let me know down below because this sounds more like a I'm critiquing life right now. It's like that type of piece. Not really. I'm cheering people on in life right now, you know? Well, it is kind of cheer people on, but it's like a self, like a self-reflection and how to improve like that's what this song is to me were they allowed to play that back then on tv like that like let me know guys down below and i love that i believe that's how hip-hop should be you get what i'm saying because hip-hop to me is a reflection of the times you get what i'm saying and you could you could see that when you study the history because hip-hop you know, started from the Bronx where a lot of people were struggling and they were going through a lot at the time. You get what I'm saying? In the United States. So, so overall, generally, hip hop is like a, a beautiful flower that grew in a dark room. You get what I'm saying? Oh my gosh. I feel like the flow changed between person, not really each person had different flows so for flow i'm gonna give it like a seven eight lyrics message beautiful i think i'm gonna give that like a 9.5 the video even the video production is very old school to me like you could see like a not a cat what is that type of camera it's not a cat eye but it's like you know, those up close angles like this, you feel me? And then <laughs> they had a bunch of those and then just them just chilling. Like you could tell like they probably didn't spend too much money on making that video. It was very just like, we're out here. This is our, like, these are our streets. It's nighttime, let's film. We got this, boom. Like, you know, nothing crazy, nothing flashy. I feel like that's what old school, like classic, more classic music is about. They're not extra, extra flashy like they are now in like, you know, the new school stuff. But they have a, but you can see the little drip, you know? Like you can see the little drip. You can see they have style. You can see they have the flow. They, you can see they have the lyrics. You can see they can spit. You can see they have bars. You can see like they don't put too much. It's like everything's kind of even like nothing's overshadowing anything so that's yeah i really liked it um thank you so much for the recommendation overall i think i'm gonna give this i'm definitely gonna give this like a 9.5 like even though yes the flow didn't change too much for me um but i really like the lyrics the lyrics the way it sounded just sounded so I don't know what it was. It just sounded so nice. The way they put the words together, just wow. It was so smooth. Like, so, like, I could feel it in my spine. <laughs> so, <laughs> I really like that. So, I'm going to give them a 9.5. Like, you could clearly see where they get their influences from the old, like, old school hip hop scene. And then, yeah. They talked about struggles and they talked about all these different things. I, chef's kiss, honestly. Them um, keeping it simple, focusing on the message, you know, creative lyrics, 
um, even the aesthetic, you know what I'm saying? It, re it remind me of Wu-Tang, just grimy, you know what I mean? Yo, definitely check those those rappers out. And like I, like I gotta say again, man, shout out to Purple Soul, man. Just them putting out a message like that, talking about where they from, that's what's up. Because those are the type of people that I like, you know what I mean, that I love. Because those are the type of people that are gonna make the world a better place just by just by highlighting what's wrong, you know, will spark a change. You know what I mean? You know, at the very least, and I appreciate that. You know what I mean? And so I give it a 10. I don't wanna say too much, all right? But appreciate y'all. You know, keep supporting my sister. You know what I mean? And and yo, we you already know she's gonna keep coming with the bangers, man. Alright, shout out to Purple Soul again. I give it a 10. Alright, peace. Like, comment down below, like, what was your favorite bar? Are there any other songs by these people that you feel like if you don't listen to it, you haven't listened to them? What are these people doing now? Let me know down below. Tell me how you're feeling down below. And with that, you have made it to the end of the video. Now you know what to do. I ain't got to tell you twice. And until next time, it has been your girl. Betty Bonita.